Hey, I'm good day, everybody. This is going to be a Colorado Eagles versus Ontario Reign series preview. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the EGDU's widget to keep us growing to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June. This is going to be a very interesting series. The Reign took down the goals in their first round as the Eagles took down the Henderson Silver Knights in their first round. When it comes to the Reign, obviously they have the back-to-back -back MVP TJ Tynan. Vladimir Tikashev stepped up immensely in the three-game series, the two-game sweep against the San Diego goal, so did Christian Rowanen offensively. And then you have Tomas Hickey and Nelson Noguier, um, who were able to really step up on the defensive end. Martin Furk has been continuously well on the offensive end, has learned how to at least buy in defensively, still not the greatest, but at least buy in more defensively here with the Ontario Reign. And Austin Wagner, as profiled, has been the perfect playoff player, winning puck battles, getting some pucks to his teams, and being able to capitalize on a goal of his own. I think team-wise, you then have Roland McCowan, uh, really is good at facilitating, but a much better defensive defenseman than when it comes to Ontario range Christian Rolainen. Uh, you have Martin Cal, who has a very good shot. Keith or Shearwood, at the age of level, is great on both ends. Uh, Dylan Sakura, a fantastic skater that's already been able to set up multiple people against the Knights. And then Foodie, who's really been great. Magna, the veteran, who was fantastic game one against the Knights. Bukic has fantastic skill as a rookie. Uh, Maltsev, coming over from the Devils organization, has had a career breakout year, and he's one of those bigger 6'3", I think like even 217 or up guys, and those guys take a second to develop some time. Maybe they found a great diamond in the rough there, and then you have Stefan uh, Mateo, you have Jacob McDonald, and other guys that have been around for a minute that are very good veterans, and then Eustace Anunan, who had a solid season as a rook in net, obviously had to play a couple games already in the NHL as well. So he's got the experience, but wasn't the squeakiest all season and had his ups and downs. But in the postseason, just like Devin Cooley, who wasn't the squeakiest in his entire rookie season, a Noonan stepped up tenfold. And when it comes to Cooley's team, now they have he and Connor Ingram. But when it comes to um, the Colorado Eagles, I would think they're still rolling with Eustace and Noonan because Hunter Miska is a guy at this point, which I love analyzing goaltenders and being as optimistic I can about them. At this point, it does look like he's going to be a minor leaguer unless if he can start really expediting the process. He still has time, but Miska would really have to get going more. With a Noonan looks like he more has the track to be eventually a backup for whoever would be the starter at that time for the Colorado Avalanche. And then a guy that, speaking of, has a track potentially to be a backup for whoever would be the starter for his team at that point, Matthew Volalta, who's continued to progress since year one into year two, got better. And then year three had his most fantastic season, and that continued against the goals. As uh, the, In some instances, he was hung out to dry with some of those goals uh, in, the, in the game that they were able to score four goals, San Diego, but... Uh, there were a couple that I would assume he would even think that he should have been able to get, but that's great goaltenders for you. But Akil Tomas has been fantastic in the first round. Uh, he's been their goal-scoring leader. Great shot. Has a freaking zapper of a shot. Um, he's a guy that's beautiful at finding the money areas on the ice. I think he's going to be a LA King sooner rather than later. Martin Furk, and that means next season, obviously, at this point. Martin Furk, great offensive player. Tika Shev, since coming back from overseas, has stepped up immensely in this postseason. For him, it wasn't the sexiest regular season. There were ups and down moments, but stepped up immensely in this postseason. For Gamo, who seems like he'll be a future king as well. The MVP, TJ Tynan, had a good first-round series. Turcott was Mr. Facilitator. Um, <clears throat> Tomas Hickey and Nelson Noguier were very good on defense. Taylor Ward is continuing to develop nicely as a rookie. Helge Granz is continuing to impress as a youngster on defense. So this is one of those series I think that the 10% benefit kind of goes to one side because both teams are very good. I believe it was 91 points for the rain to 85, finishing on the regular season for the Colorado Eagles. I would say I have to favor just because of their more consistent play throughout the season and the fact they got the MVP and Morton Furk and Akil Thomas with TJ Tynan plus Matthew Volalta who's going through ups and down ropes of the AHL already where obviously a Noonan hasn't done that here in just his rookie season. I would have to favor the Ontario Reign but it's not by much it's probably by like a 10% who uh, maybe a 7% to 10% favor but I would have to favor the Ontario Reign. Anyway, this has been the preview to the Ontario Reign versus the Colorado Eagles. I feel like this might be that Blues Wild type series five gamer style just because I do think these teams match up very well against each other. It's just going to be how sexy can a Noonan keep going in this in his rookie season? Is that going to continue to play? Is he going to be like uh, how cool he was 
for the Admirals, or is that eventually going to balance out and he's going to have some rookie playoff blunders? We'll have to see going forward where Volta hasn't had Calder Cup experience, really, obviously, but uh, he is a guy, and I meant Calder Cup playoff experience, he is a guy that's gone through the ups and down ropes of the league because it's in his third season now. But peace out, everybody. Stay safe. I would pick the Ontario Reign in this five-game series. Please subscribe down below or up above these huge wishes to keep the channel growing to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June.